Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the AWS S3 buckets in PHP. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So today we are going to learn about how to upload the multiple images using the PHP AWS S3 bucket. So those who haven't subscribed, please do subscribe my channel. Let's get started. So let's go to the S3 bucket. So all of these details like how to create the S3 bucket, how to get the IDs and everything we have already uploaded in the videos. So you can just go and check it out. So currently we are just doing the multiple images upload. So currently I will delete all the files over here. Okay, so let me delete this all. And here I need to just add the delete it objects okay so currently you can see that the upload folder is totally empty right now okay and if i go to the database part also i can just delete all the things over here correct so no data over here let's go to the file upload section so here we have the browse file so here i will just go and add one of the two files over here okay and just try to upload that files okay let's see the files over here first the database so you can see that the they have added all the files in the this one section okay and if i go to the s3 bucket and here you can see the two files two files are over here right so let's dive into the code level we have successfully uploaded that files so here we go with that one if uh, you can also just go and just make it public so you can also use this one object url so it is assess denied so you have to make it public to assess before it going to be okay so here we have the permissions part right so here we are we can edit the permissions and uh, you can make this read write and downloadable here so go to the back here we have the Standard, disabled, enabled. Here we have the versions. So it's currently this permissions. So currently we have the read write. Okay, so here we have the public LSS. You can make the public LSS read. Okay, and here you can just create a save one this part. Add, I understand the fact changes save changes we don't remove we don't require this save changes and if i go and uh, again open this files okay so you can see that it's downloaded right now and if i click on open you can see that it's opening okay so let's dive into the code level so this is the full fledged code of that one right so display error this is a reporting part so you have to vendor auto load this one so what which extension which composer package you have to install i will show you so currently I have installed the AWS SDK. So make sure you have installed Composer required AWS SDK PHP. Correct. Then we have the AWS S3 client. So you have to use this one. Then AWS S3 configurations you have to add over here. Then MySQL database configurations and then create a MySQL connection. Then after the successful connection, it will log that one. If anything error, then it will say that database connection failed. Okay. Then we have handled the file server uploads. So if the post request is there, we will create a directory to store that one. You can skip that one also. It's directly upload directory. Then here you can see we have the uploads directory also at the same part where we have the upload section. No, upload is in the uh, AWS, right? So uploads, uploads directory, make directory that one. Okay, in the server side. And then we are taking the file name, file temp, file size, and S3 uploads, unique ID. We have to going to just upload it over here. Or you can just, get, when uploaded, get their IDs and save that into database also at the same moment. Okay. So S3 put object, upload the file to the AWS S3. So here, store the file information into the MySQL databases. Right. So you can you have the file name, S3 key, and the file size. So we have added that one and bind this parameter, file key, and this, and execute that statement. If any issue error occurs, then error uploading the S3 bucket. Okay, and then close the connection. Then we have the file upload section. We have the multiple files you can upload. Okay, if you want to single, just make a single file and it, it also will be uploaded, right? So this is the full-fledged code on how to upload the images 
to the S3 bucket, multiple images to the S3 bucket with the help of the PHP. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.